A South African inventor may have discovered the Holy Grail to take the hydrogen economy to the next level, making it affordable and accessible to everyone. He did it by looking at the hydrogen energy problem differently. Normal practice is to use a membrane. I didn't. I did away with the membrane. And um, by keeping pressure in the system, I was able to keep the gases apart. As any inventor will tell you though, it's one thing to invent and test a concept and then build scale models. It's quite another getting the corporate world interested and prepared to invest. We've approached all the big firms into the hydrogen business and, and send them you know, a teaser of what we're doing and, and not one of them responded. They simply don't believe. I think they don't believe it comes from Africa. They don't believe it's possible. And what we've done is so major accomplishment that it's going to threaten their own existence. They into the membrane technology, we are not. We're taking that altogether out. The beauty of the system here is that uh, we don't change the dimensions or the, uh, the size of electrodes. We think of those things as button electrodes. So the more hydrogen you need, the more, more electrode buttons you fit. The team have just completed a scaled up model of the original prototype and the results confirm the results they achieved in their initial tests. The next step is to test platinum coated electrodes. They are confident that they will achieve even better results. It's going to affect everything. It's going to affect our way of life. You're not dependent upon oil anymore, you're not dependent upon electricity anymore, you can use solar, you turn that into chemical energy. You can use this now for whatever application you can think of. It's like getting you energy for free. You can use it now, it's not really free of course, but you can use it now for whatever applications. Run your car, do your barbecue, run your lights at your house. If you want a home unit, it will be the size of probably your fridge. Industrial applications, it's going to be the size of a building. There's no limit. Because, because the electrolyzer works on um, button electrodes, you can just add and subtract. New discoveries and research and development of solutions that will lead to a better, more sustainable world remain the key focus of scientists, young and old. It's always interesting to work on new technology and this is definitely something new. It is, hasn't been done and it's very nice to have it as a South African to be working on a South African project that does something different. This technology will change the future for individuals, companies, industry forever. It's a cheap and accessible way to get electricity around our world. Another application is the motoring sector. A leading platinum research house suggested in a report recently that the commercial production of fuel cell powered cars could start as early as 2015. One of the challenges is the range of the vehicles and the need for hydrogen filling stations. What we're doing, we're generating hydrogen. And the hydrogen would preferably be stored outside your house in normal tanks, compression tanks. The cars, obviously, that, that, that's filled in three minutes. You just plug it into the tank, you've made your hydrogen at home, you fill up your car three minutes and you go. Not like a battery seven or eight hours on the go. This thing can continue whilst there's wind or there's solar, whatever you're using, to break the water apart. Some say that an invention generally looks at a very complex problem and finds a very simple solution. And it appears this is one of those instances. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Modifantine to the east of Johannesburg.